Hey YouTube, Nurse Mark here. I previously did a video on alcohol and weight gain, and I want to talk a little bit now about why we make terrible eating choices when we drink, and what's going on in our brain and our bodies that are driving those crappy choices. So right off the bat, let's talk a little bit about the brain. See, in the brain, there's something called the frontal lobe, all right? And at the front of your frontal lobe is your prefrontal cortex. Now this little bad boy is responsible for risk management and decision making. Guess what gets affected the second you start drinking alcohol? Yeah, so when we start consuming alcohol, that little voice in your head that says, don't do that thing, is gone, right? Hold my beer, anybody? So as we drink, we lower our, risk man our ability to risk manage and our decision making ability goes right out the window. So that little voice in your head that says, don't do that thing that you're about to do, yeah, he's gone. He left town. He's not coming back. So when we have acute alcohol consumption, we kind of numb the frontal cortex or the frontal lobe and the prefrontal cortex. But there have been studies that show that when you have chronic alcohol consumption, you actually damage the frontal lobe and the prefrontal cortex, leading to long-term risk management problems and decision and bad decision making. But in the acute alcohol consumption, meaning you're not like a six pack a day kind of person, all you're doing is just kind of temporarily numbing your ability to make good decisions. So when we consume alcohol, our body looks at it as a poison. All right, it looks at it as a toxin that it has to eliminate first before it can do anything else. So it stops breaking down and utilizing calories from protein, fats, and carbs, and instead it breaks those things down and stores them as body fat. So as we're drinking and consuming calories, your body's not using your macros to run on anymore. It's trying to get rid of that alcohol. Now it can utilize a very, very, very small portion of those alcohol calories for fuel, but the rest of the calories you're taking in, that's getting stored as body fat for later once you're done eliminating that poison. So when we're drinking, we go into a state where our body doesn't use the calories from macros the way that it normally would. It's gonna store those as fat, but it, your body still needs calories to run. So despite you drinking alcohol and taking in calories from macros, your body doesn't utilize those properly and sends signals to your brain saying, hey, we're starving, you need to get calories now. So then your brain turns around and says, okay, I need calories in large quantities right now because I have nothing going on. What has large amounts of calories? Uh, chicken wings, burgers, food truck food. So your body's telling you that you're starving. So you eat a giant cheeseburger and your stomach stretches a little bit and then you stop feeling hungry, which is great. And then your body starts breaking down that cheeseburger and uses those calories and stores them as fat because you're still drinking beer while you're eating that burger probably, right? So then your body, after a period of time, once your stomach stretch starts to decrease, turns around and says, hey, we're still starving, you need to eat more. And that's how you see the cycle of binge eating when we're drinking. Despite you taking in large amounts of calories and really calorie dense foods, you still don't have that signal or that reinforcement in your brain to say you need to stop eating, you've got enough, because your body is still fighting that toxin and still thinks you're running on empty. So why do we eat crappy foods when we're drunk? All those things we just talked about. Voice in your head is gone that makes good decisions, your body thinks it's starving, but your brain still knows that a cheeseburger has a lot of calories, and your body is screaming for calories, so a cheeseburger is probably the right answer. Make sense? That's it, boys and girls. Alcohol leads to some pretty bad food choices. Now, if you go out and you get drunk and you overeat, don't beat yourself up. You're allowed to have some fun in your life. If it's a daily thing or you're doing it every single weekend where you're binge eating and binge drinking, maybe make some better life choices, but I'm not here to judge you. The point is, occasionally, everything in moderation, including in moderation. I think Ozzy Osbourne said that. That's it. Like and subscribe. Questions and comments down below. And as always, eat like a bodybuilder and train like a powerlifter.